What's going on YouTube? I'm going to do a review on a new shotgun I just got. A uh, Maverick 88. I um, was really reluctant at it. Uh, saying it was like a knockoff. Uh, clone of a 500. It's really cheap. Uh, made in Mexico. Assembled in Texas. Stuff like that. Uh, but after I looked at it, it's actually pretty fucking good. Like, I don't know if it's better or not, but I actually prefer this over the 500. Um, but I'll go over it with you. Um, it was a standard 7-in-1 security I picked up for 190 bucks off of some guy. His wife didn't like it. Only put 20 uh, shells through it. And then, uh, so I picked it up, gave him cash, and snatched it up. Uh, from arms list. I know like eight guys called him, but since uh, he was like, yeah, since you uh, called first and you're in the Navy, uh, I'll go ahead and hook you up. So I fucking hauled ass down there and, uh, to him, threw cash in his hand and snagged this up. Box, papers, everything, real new. Hell, even the fucking, uh, this is still on there. <laughs> so it's still in phenomenal shape. I did, uh, get this though from um, Mossberg themselves, the one on Amazon. Uh, saw some heat shields. Um, you know, you gotta be careful because the 88s for the most part are similar to the 500s. Uh, besides the mixed reviews, I was like, you know what, I'll just call Mossberg. I actually called them up themselves and uh, told them what I had and uh, the guy's like, yeah, I got something perfect for you. And uh, got this heat shield for like 30 bucks. And you can see how it goes around there. And this was actually the hardest part. That was a pain in the ass. Putting those screws in and those little nuts. Putting those nuts on because uh, it bows out. And yeah, I had to get like a pair of pliers or clamps and uh, hold it down. But this shit ain't going nowhere. You had to remove the front bead. It's like a little 5, 30 seconds, I think. And then you sl it slides right on. And uh, it's dirty. This actually goes flush. It doesn't go in at all. This is actually flush. I actually fit my fingernail. In between there. So, yeah. But I went ahead and put this on. And the differences between the 500s and the 88s is that, uh, well, they're made in Mexico, well, some parts are. The top of the receiver, the safety, is not on the rear tang, so it's one less spot that, uh, one less spot they have to mill out. It's actually a cross trigger bar safety right here. And this is all polymer, not milled metal. So it's like Glock material instead of metal, which is fine. Now a lot of people doesn't like that seam but I could care less. But let me go ahead and do something before everybody else freaks out. This is my home defense gun, so uh, lay off my ass. But um, for 190 bucks, I couldn't beat that. And then uh, I gave him 10 more dollars, and he gave me 75 uh, uh, target loads and uh, 10 double hot buck so if I can uh, 85 rounds for 10 bucks you can't beat that in a $190 shotgun but um yeah 7 and 1 5, 6, 7, 8 and I have all buckshot double hot I know a lot of people do like oh you know one of this one of this they mix up the rounds you know, if the first shot don't get them, I'll give them some slugs. No. You know, if there's an uh, action, people coming through, I know what I have all in the tube, all seven rounds, so there's no mix-up. I know I have eight shots of double op buck. And, oh, uh, safe and clear. Oh, what's really cool, uh, if you can see it real quick. Uh, Eagle Pass, Texas. I was like literally right on the border between Mexico. So I guess they they say it's mad Mexico. They probably have Mexicans just fucking jump over and uh, 
make it for them. But you know, this was pretty, this is a pain in the ass to put on because uh, of this part. And then um, I also put something on. It takes uh, that pin that mounts the trigger assembly right here. This is actually a threaded screw that goes all the way through and replaces it. And I went ahead and attached a Tac Star six shot uh, side saddle. And you can see that uh, trigger assembly um, pin or screw now. Uh, actually, the thread sticks out and threads onto this uh, steel or aluminum uh, base plate. And there's another one that uh, that flathead, whatever that leaf spring is, uh, that flathead goes through and attaches to this steel base plate. And then you have like these uh, three on this side and then three on the top, little uh, Allen head screws. It's a plastic base plate or a plastic, plastic plate that mounts onto the steel base plate. And uh, there's a lot of tension on, on these. So you have nothing to worry about. And uh, I know people are like, oh, you know, I'll put one buckshot, one bird shot, one slug, so on and so forth. I have this here. I'm looking at get more or a variety of shells. Uh, I have the PDX ones. Best of both worlds. I do got some slugs. And then some more double lot. So I think I'll just put up all double lot. There's not really no reason for a slug. Uh, for home home defense, uh, you know, it's just fucking being stupid, I guess. But Probably uh, buy some more double lot and fill that all up so I have everything universal. Uh, I'm not going for long range. This is just for blowing some dudes out of my house. So, but yeah, but Tackstar, really nice product. Uh, clean, crisp grasp on the shells. Little stout to pull out, but the drilling's going. Or if you're uh, just doing um, drills, you know, you're going fast, you're pulling out, you're not really caring. So, pull it out real good but it has really good grabs and these don't even move period so very good product tax sorry did a good job thank you but um the mount really nice the only downside is every time when I like, clean it out you got to take off this uh allen head screw instead of just popping it out but um the other leaf spring screw flathead hold on the mount so you'll be fine Love that sound, but everything else on the shotgun is interchangeable, um, except for one more thing. These are mold injected, so these um, rack bars right here are actually molded in there. They're not um, like the 500. I forgot how my old one was, but I'm pretty sure you could have took them off. But these ones are um, molded on there. Same thing, the tubes the same diameter, of course, it's a 12 gauge, but. Uh, another money saver and then other than that um, besides the rear tanger safety being here polymer trigger guard and um, mold injected uh, uh, action bars I need another name for that but everything else is the same you know they I want to say cut corners but they found ways to save money which is cool with me because it saved me money buying this shotgun but um Love it, absolutely love it. As soon as I put on that heat shield and the Tac Stars um, uh, side saddle, I fucking fell in love. Uh, right now, it's my new favorite over my lever action and my Soger side by side. But um, amazing shotgun, super smooth, just like the 500, and actually. Don't mind the, the trigger bar right there. All on one assembly. I don't have to worry about anything else. Smooth up top, everything down here. So all in all, Maverick 88 is actually, I want to say hating everything else, but I'm actually preferring this. The economy, simplicity, and it is a 500, just a little tweak and peaks. So all in all, phenomenal shotgun. And I... From what I heard, the security or version of the 88 or the 7 and one is a little bit harder to get. Um, I did want an 18-inch barrel, but hey, whatever. Two more rounds for a 7 and one can't beat that. 
Um, so looking at getting a probably a sling and a flashlight mount, but I probably can because there's a uh, little space bar right here that goes from these to this right here. It blocks. You can see my fingers on the side. It's a little bar that uh, keeps tension on this so it doesn't go forward. Um, so I don't know if I can get a something that wraps around here or not. But either way, I'll figure something out. But my opinion. Uh, Maverick 88, two thumbs up.